Hi guys, welcome back to Mike's Corner. I've got a desk, like most people with a computer, but do you know what I don't have on my desk right now? Which AliExpress kind of said, hey Mike, you should get one of these. Well, I did. So let's have a look at the small portable wireless weather station. Let's get unboxing. Okay, the box is pretty plain. All we've pretty much got on here is small portable smart Wi-Fi weather station. And then the weather, it's, it's, it's really difficult to read. But let's, let's pop it open and have a quick look, shall we? Okay. Oh gosh, it is tiny. <laughs> So in the box, there's a USB-C cable, and there's this tiny, tiny, tiny thing. Wow. Smart weather clock. Eek magic. Okay, let's have a quick look around this box. So, yep, yeah, really just some basic product information. There's actually a manufacturer of this device, which is nice. There is different models. So it appears that I have the ultra version. So I wonder what the ultra version kind of has. I've got the white version and it's just powered by USB. What a nice little box, geek magic. Love that, smart weather clock. Right, let's pop it open and see what we've got. Ah, okay, well there is. Okay, well, there's a little code that I can scan here and obviously get the manual. Places for the user manual. And here is the little device. Oh, gosh. What is this? <laughs> Look at this. Ah, oh, this is so cute. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this little tiny baby. So before I forget to uh, tell you how much this cost, on AliExpress, when I purchased this, this cost £6.53p. Wow, so I guess it needs some USB power. So let's go and get some USB power hooked up and see what it does. Okay, now we have some USB power at the ready. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Connect Wi-Fi, geek magic. Well, I don't think it's going to connect to anything because I haven't set it up. Let's see what happens. Okay, so after a little bit of time, actually, it, it did gave up on connecting to Wi-Fi and does pop up the online manual uh, QR code. So you can scan that and bring up the instruction manual. It also has a Wi-Fi of gift fee, and it also has an IP address. So it looks like it may actually transmit its own wireless, but let's see what happens. Okay, so instruction manual doesn't appear to actually work. So when I use the QR code for the instruction manual, the page is not loading. However, I've connected to the wireless on the device and gone to the uh, IP address, and what I've noticed is you have to also switch your play, your phone into aeroplane mode so it doesn't try to get online using your SIM card or your data so, and just connect via Wi-Fi and you get to a setup screen. For connecting Git to wireless, you have to go to the network tab and then click on scan. What that will then do, it will go off and then scan for any wireless networks that are in your area. Select the wireless network that is your own and enter the password for that. For that. Uh, once you click save, the device will reboot and re will connect to your wireless and uh, then you'll have to connect to it on your phone again. So what I've had to do, once you get the device connected to your wireless, you then have to go reconnect your phone back onto your wireless and on the top of the screen here, it will every now and again show the IP address of the device. So once you get the IP address, you reconnect on your phone to the new IP address of the device. So 
what we will do, let's see if we can set the time. So let me talk you through something that you need to do to get this to work. So once you've got it hooked up to your wireless, what you need to do is go into weather. Okay, and then it says input your city location. And I've got a code here. How I got that code was to click on this search box. And for example, if I was in London, UK, I would click search. What it then does is bring up a location for what you searched for. If you click on the link, it brings up the London, UK. Now what you're after on the URL right at the end is the number. So if you edit your URL on your phone and then you will see this number at the end. That's what you need to input on the location screen. After you've done that, you can click save and the, the device will update with the correct time and the correct weather for your location. What I've also done, I've updated the NTP server in the time settings to be an NTP server that's located for the UK time. There's also many kind of different things that you can change on the device as well. So if you go into settings, you can bring up the weather clock for today, which is the first screen I've got here. You can bring up the weather forecast, photo album, oh gosh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't know if you guys can see that properly. It's a bit oversaturated, but uh, there's a, oh, and a dragon, nice. Um, so you can actually upload pictures to this as well using the pictures tab. That uh, it's a Pikachu too. What the heck? Uh, so there's different time styles that you can have it go on, and a simple weather clock. Nice. So there's a couple of different settings in the settings options. So it looks like here you can have it switch between different. Uh, faces um, and it will basically rotate for how many seconds that you set it in here. Now you can also set the brightness of the display. Let's see how bright it goes. Oh, pretty bright. And set the brightness down. Uh, there's a night mode. Let's have a look see what night mode looks like. Okay. It looks like it could just be a brightness slider. So not a big deal. And factory reset reboot and there's a firmware update as well. So let's quickly have a quick look at the photos that are stored on the device now that I've changed the brightness of the screen. We've got a dragon, we've got a Pikachu which is an animated GIF by the look of it. I actually quite like this device, it's pretty cool. Gosh, it's, it's oh hello, <laughs> I didn't put this on here, this is what's already on here. And a little flying spaceman as well. Ah, love it. Um, I love the idea that I can actually up upload my own pictures to it as well through the pictures menu here. And you can set the, initial, the actual delay to it moves on to the next picture. Pretty cool. Okay, so with it switched off, it should retain all the settings that you set into it. So what I'm going to do is plug it back in again and see if it actually retains the information I've set up. Okay, so the first step is it's going to get it to wireless. That was pretty quick. It's got an IP address and straight away it's updated the weather, the location and the time. Pretty cool. I actually quite like this device. So what a cool little device. It's relatively inexpensive. It's relatively tiny and it's relatively quite cool. I mean, if you want to put it on your desk, in your computer, and somewhere in your house, which I'm going to do with this, by the way, it's it's cool. And thank you, AliExpress, for recommending that I get this smart little portable weather station. But how portable is it? If you've got a battery pack, it's pretty portable, but it doesn't have an internal battery. So maybe not call it portable. So that brings us to the end of another video. And it's really great to have something from AliExpress 
which is actually good. You know, the last two videos we've done have shown not everything is great on AliExpress. And talking about great things, if you thought this video was good or great, have a little, hit a little like and subscribe and a little thumbs up, costs you nothing, doesn't tie you into anything, and it helps me out as a channel. That's the end for today. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next video.